We're going to take a look at a Beike BK45 gimbal tripod head. This is a Chinese version of the more well-known Wimbley style heads. There's lots of manufacturers of gimbal heads out there today. Most of them are very expensive. You can expect to pay £600 plus for a top of the range carbon fibre one. These are retailing in the UK as of February 2014 for about £70. Are they good value for money? The first review that I came across on the internet suggested this was better than the Wimbley head. Most reviews are a bit more negative than that. Some reviews very negative suggesting that they're very stiff and, and cheap. I'm going to give you my view on it but first of all let's describe it. It's made of aluminium, it weighs in at 1.3 kilos which is slightly less than it says on the specification but I put that on the scales myself this morning. It comes with a standard 3 8 Whitworth threaded hole, so it will fit the stud of most flat top tripods. If your tripod has a smaller stud, the quarter Whitworth, you have to buy a reducer to make that hole slightly smaller. Let's put it onto the, onto the tripod itself. There are three adjustments. First of all, you can higher or lower this carriage. Your big lens sits in this carriage here and you can achieve better balance by putting it up or, or down. And there's a scale on the side so you can remember what point you prefer to have it for each lens. This knob down here, you undo that quarter of a turn and we can pan left to right or you can lock it. This knob up here only turns about 20 degrees of a circle. It's an on-off lock so when it's like that the, the, the head moves in the vertical position and you can lock it so it doesn't move at all. If you're carrying the tripod over your shoulder with your big lens attached, you'd have it locked. When you're using it, you have it unlocked. And this is where you get the, the main complaint. People talk about them being stiff. Well, they are stiff. Compared to a Wimbley, which runs on roller bearings, they are definitely stiff. These won't be on roller bearings. I'm not taking one apart, but I'm pretty sure in there that's going to be like a nylon bush. And there is this stiffness to it, but I don't regard it as a problem. In fact, I actually prefer it. I don't call it stiffness, I call it dampening. And when you put a big lens on there, it isn't an issue at all. Let's look at my main tripod head that I use all the time. This is a video head, a proper fluid video head, which means inside here there's oil. It has to be pushed through tiny valves as you pan or tilt the lens. There's a lot of resistance. If you call the Beike head stiff, you'd have to call this one seized. It requires such an effort to push against it. And yet, for flight photography, this is the ultimate tripod head. I've used them for over 20 years now, and if you think of all those wonderful wildlife films we see on the television, of birds in flight or a cheetah chasing an antelope across the savannah where it's twisting and turning, they're all filmed on heads like these because it is so much easier to follow your subject when you're pushing against a little bit of resistance than it is with a free-flowing head that just spins round. I've owned a Wimbley Mark I, I've owned a Jobo Black Point I think it was called, both of them I sold after a few months, I just couldn't get on with them, they spin too freely, you spend all of your time making little adjustments trying to tighten them up a little bit. This you don't have to, you just leave it as it is, you want to go faster you just push it harder, you want to go slower you just slow down. As a bird is flying and it's moving to the left and then it's going to bank round, you can pan with it and as it slows down you're just pushing less hard and eventually as it goes the other way you just start pushing the other way, constantly variable. So this for me is, is the ultimate lens, uh, lens tripod. Um, they do have a disadvantage, this would cost you way over a thousand pounds and it's heavy and it's bulky. So when I'm flying somewhere I can't take this head and if I've got to walk a long way up a hill I don't take this head. I do have lighter carbon fibre tripods with smaller video heads on which are good, not quite as good as this. This is the one I prefer to use. But such a huge contrast be between this concept of having to have a tripod head that spins around on ball bearings and one that has a lot of resistance in it. Let's put this lens onto the Beike head. The head comes with a standard Arca Swiss release plate, which is the most common release plate on the market. And that's undone, and that's undone. So you can see, although people are calling this stiff, to me, I can push it very easily with my, with my little finger. There's no effort to turn it in either direction. 
it doesn't do what the Wimbleys do, which is return to that centre point. But I've never wanted it to return to that centre point. My video head doesn't. This is, for me, it's absolutely perfect for following birds in flight. It's got that dampening built in. Not quite as good as my video head, and as you've seen, not quite as stiff. But it makes it far easier to follow a bird with that little bit of stiffness in there than it does with one that spins around too loosely. If you want a gimbal head that's on roller bearings, don't buy one of these bikes, you'll be disappointed. If, like me, you like a head that's got dampening in it, that's much easier to follow birds in flight, I think these are an absolute bargain. I've started using them now, it's become my second head. So I'm still using the video head as my main one, but when I need the lighter video heads when I'm going abroad, this is the, the head that I'm currently taking with me. I'm very pleased with it.